Today, I've got myself a Losi LMT Grave Digger, and we're going to be unboxing, reviewing, and testing this thing and seeing if it's any good. But, guys, if it's as good as it looks, then it's going to be absolutely amazing. So, yeah, here it is Losi Grave Digger. Uh, this is the LMT. It's supposed to be the ultimate solid axle monster truck. It's officially licensed grave digger body. Super realistic, supposedly. Cutting edge technology, according to them. So, you know, we're going to see, as usual, if any of that stuff is true. But, I mean, guys, just look at this thing. So, we got a DX3 transmitter and a SR315 receiver. That's a really nice radio. I really like these radios. A Spectrum Firma 130 amp 4S ESC. Now, it's only rated for 3S, but we'll see how things go. Spectrum Firma 3150 kV brushless motor. LED headlights, which is actually really cool. Multi-piece scale axle housing and realistic drivers in there. Guys, this thing looks absolutely amazing. So let's get this thing cracked open and see if it's any good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, check out the size of this thing. This is a DX3. <laughs> so in the box, you get the radio, the car, obviously. Batteries for the radio. You get some spare body posts and stuff to convert it to a conventional body, I'm assuming. And some other stuff and the instructions. But guys, check out how epic this thing looks. Let's get this wrap off of here. Oh guys, that looks so sweet. These tires are super beefy and they're huge. These aluminum shocks look fantastic and they feel great. So to get the body off, there's clips underneath here. And there's some clips under here as well. Oh yes, here we go. So, and here you have your uh, S6 14 s servo and we'll see how good that is you need all the steering power you can get here's your spectrum 130 amp speed controller 4s capable got your motor tucked away in there and they even have this cool little gear reduction box just like on a real monster truck got your little wire for some lights here got yourself a uh, ic5 connector really do like these connectors for the battery got this interesting little strap here kind of hard to get in there oh dang it three cells just barely too big but maybe uh, that might work body closes so i guess we can use this battery in here even if it doesn't exactly fit right and guys check out that beefy aluminum frame really cool and you've got tons of places to mount your sway bars and suspension it's really nice that they did that and you got realistic transfer case and then the really nice headers down here and you got all these little sponsors stickers down there Losi has really done it with this truck but anyway if we look underneath here oh man super beefed up drive shafts have metal u-joints with a plastic center shaft but it's really beefy i don't think i'm gonna be raking these anytime soon super beefy four link suspension in the rear and in the front Got some scale headers. Got some sway bars in here, which is really a nice feature. And it is only front wheel steer, but I'm thinking that if you just get yourself a front axle housing and another servo, you can easily do it. Plus the Spectrum DX3 here, it's got a third channel. So would be pretty perfect. I really do like these DX3s though. And um, guys, this thing is huge way 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 big just for a little size comparison here's my traxxas t-max and this thing is pretty big it's definitely bigger than a standard 10 scale monster truck and here's my ecx amp that i just built up and um yeah this is an amp mt and it is way smaller than this thing video on that coming very soon so be sure to subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it but for now just check out this thing Oh, 
man, guys, this thing truly does look amazing. Oh, I can't wait to get this thing outside. The ESC can take 4S, but the motor is only rated for 3. So we're going to run it on 3S for now. Um, maybe later in the video, I'll check a 4S pack in there, see what happens. But guys, everything on this truck is looking fantastic. So let's get this thing out in the real world, hit some jumps, and uh, see what this thing can do. The radio wants four double A's, which are included with the truck. All right, guys, so I am running a Dean's plug on my battery, but I just made up this little connector here. And if we turn on our radio, turn on our car. Oh, smokes, guys. That servo has plenty of speed and power. I'm actually quite impressed with that. Let's get the lights plugged in here. Oh, those are looking mean. Power. Oh. Guys, that's gonna be a lot of fun to drive. Let's get this thing outside. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> this thing is an animal, even on 3S. I don't think it needs 4S. It's so huge, but nothing's a problem for it. Body. Well, apparently it got so hot that it melted my hot glue adapter. <laughs> so I guess I'll just have to wait for the real ones to come. All right, guys, got the actual adapter in there. So now, <laughs> guys, this thing rips. <laughs> Wheelies for days. Oh yeah. Oops. <laughs> uh oh. Light came out of here. I wonder if we can do a standing backflip. No, not quite. <laughs> Guys, this thing is ridiculous. There we go. Guys, this thing is just a wheelie monster. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and it takes it. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this thing is amazing. Oh. <laughs> Definitely fun to drive and it's super scale. Let's see if we can do a backflip. Oh, no problem. <laughs> yeah, guys. The steering, <laughs> the servo saver is definitely going to be saving a lot of servos on this thing. Another backflip. Guys, this is actually really fast. <laughs> Definitely a stunt truck. <laughs> Wonder if it can do a backflip on this. Ooh. No, nope, it cannot. All my poor body. Two wheels, maybe? Ah, oh, I'm not good at two wheels. Guys, there's something about driving this truck that is Ooh, so much fun. This is a true RC Moss truck. Let's see if we can do a front flip. 
Oh, yes. Guys, this ramp is fantastic. I'll put a link in the description to the video I made on how you can make one of these. It's cheap and it's really awesome. And it's nice and portable. And as you can see, I mean, it's kicking this thing. Saved it. <laughs> Guys, I've seen people like Kevin Tolbert take these things and he always seems to break the axles. But I mean, for me, they seem to be holding up just fine. Obviously, I'm not giving it quite the amount of abuse that Kev's given his, but I mean, I'm still doing backflips and having some fun here. <laughs> Guys, this thing is so much fun to drive there. Oh, oh, oh. Turned off. No worries, battery just came unplugged. All right, got it plugged back in here. <laughs> Poor, poor grave digger body. Oh man. Definitely gonna have its fair share of scratches by the end of the day. Definitely one bulky truck though. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't broken anything yet. I mean, these lights are kind of annoying. I'm just gonna tuck them in here because they just keep popping out. Hot glue them in there later, but I mean. Holy smokes, guys. I mean, for something this heavy, I'm surprised I haven't busted anything yet. It's actually quite durable. Oh, yes, guys. This is a true monster truck replica right here. Absolutely amazing. Oh. All right. Guys, this thing is fantastic. Tons of power on track. I mean, the thing is just a monster truck. That's the only way I can put it. Ooh. I think they gotta get ooh, limiting straps on there. Because um, when I'm taking these jumps, I'm sure it's really straining the shocks. I mean, the wheels and the axles and stuff weigh so much that it's really going to be yanking on the shocks. This thing is just so much fun to drive. <laughs> Guys, there is something about this truck. That just makes it such a monster. I'm not going easy on this. Oh, and I haven't had any axle issues thus far. Oh. <laughs> Guys, the thing just wants to really backflip wall. I don't know what that was, but Let's try that again. <laughs> almost, guys, almost. Oh, somehow this thing has not broken yet. <laughs> oh. Guys, this thing just humbles and it takes it. It's so awesome. Oh, I really do like where they place the uh, ESC switch. 
makes it nice to get to. This thing is such a monster, I love it. Alright guys, back in the shop with Gravedigger here, and this thing is a monster. I love it, it's so powerful, it does wheelies all day, back flips, front flips, whatever you want to do, all the kinds of flips, it'll do them. And um, it was super durable. I mean, I haven't broken a single thing on it, except for the servo. I think I might have chipped a tooth or something, because it's just disconnected the electronics and it still work, but it just spins. So yeah, and then I uh, lost one of the light wires for the lights. Those are minor problems. This radio, guys, this radio did fantastic. The tires are grippy. The thing is so much fun. I really do love this truck, and um, yeah guys, I mean, I don't know what you think, but I think this is absolutely epic, a little bit pricey, but you know what, I think it was worth it, I loved it, it was so much fun, so yeah, that was the review and durability testing of this Gravedigger from Losi. and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.